Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for Grade 4, Chapter 3, Lesson 6, The Associative Property of Multiplication. Page number is 167. Okay, uh, guys, in associative property, we have three numbers. Uh, I think in the last chapter, we checked associative property of addition, and this time, it's for multiplication so uh, let's take an example like we have 2 times 3 times 4 on both sides we have the same number for example if uh, we miss this number and ask you guys what is this number so you can see from the other side it's 3 here so it must be 3 here okay now what we do in associative property we make groups like if we make the group of 2 and 3 on this side and on that side we make the group of 3 and 4 the both will give us the same answer how first we solve the group 2 times 3 is 6 and times 4 this 4 bring it down okay on the other side 3 times 4 12 and times 2 the same down okay now 6 times 4 24 and 2 times 12 24 that's it got it guys so we get the both we on both sides we get the same answer here we create the group of 2 and 3 and here 3 and 4 so we get the same answer okay Normally, we use associative property in, uh, to solve the questions easily. Like first we create the group, solve that one first, and then multiply by the other number. Okay, let us see the first example here. See this, guys. Uh, there are two video games in each value pack. There are six value packs in each box. The row buys three boxes, so two times six times three. So we are solving it in two ways, one way and another way. 2 times 6 times 3, 2 times 6 times 3. First we create the group of 2 and 6. So solve it, 2 times 6, 12 times 3, 12 times 3, 36. And here we create the group of 6 and 3. 6 times 3, 18, 2 times 18, 36. So in both ways we get the same answer. Associative property stating that we can change the order of the group. Okay, we can switch the order of the group. Like in commutative property, we were changing the order of the numbers. Okay. Similarly, here on the next page, see this guys. Uh, the first way 924, 924, first way create the group of 9 and 2, here 2 and 4. 9 times 2, 18, bring the 4 down, 18 times 4, 72. 2 times 4, 8, and 9 times 8, 72. So we get the same answer. Here, uh, guys, they give you this one to solve it. So you can create the group according to your needs, like whichever you feel easier. Like if you feel easy to multiply 5 times 3, so you can create that one. They feel that 3 times 3 is easy to multiply. So they create the group of 3 times 3, which is 9. Then they bring down the 5, 5 times 9, 45. Similarly, here for this question, they create the group 4 times 2, 8. Bring 7 down, 8 times 7, 56. You can create the group of 2 and 7 if you find that one easier. Okay. Uh, this one, 3 times 1. Bring the 3 down, 6 on that side. 3 times 6, 18. Next page. Independent practice. Guys, I will show you one question. Uh, this one. How to solve it complete. I don't need only the answers. Complete solution. Okay. With using associative property. Like this question. Uh, I find that these two numbers are easier to multiply first. So first I multiply these two. 2 times 2. 4 times 7 and equals 28 like this you have to solve like this one 
I find that 5 and 2 is easier to multiply. So 5 times 2, 10, and 7 times 10 equals 70. So, so you see, guys, when we use associative property, it becomes easier to solve. So you have to solve all these questions like this, complete. Okay, not only the answers. Okay, now here uh, you have to find the answer, multiply them using associative property and tell us which one is greater. Okay, similarly here. In this one, guys, they have you have a star. Instead of star, you will write it for, okay, here the circle, the sun, two. Here, this sign means equals three. So you write three here. And the star equals four. So you write four here. And then you solve it using associative property. Okay, here you'll find the missing number. How? First you multiply 4 times 1 and equals 4 and 4 times what? Equal 12. So times 3. Similarly, 2 times 5, 10. 10 times what? Equals 66. 3 times 4, 12. 12 times 2 is 24. Let us move to the next page. Gabriel is training for a race one day that he jokes on days sorry on days that he jogs he jogs two miles so he exercise uh, his exercise schedule is shown how many miles will he jog in six weeks so in one week he's jogging one two three and four days and every day he's jogging two miles let us write it here two 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 and two four twos so one two three four four times two here four times two and six weeks so times six equals 48 miles Benika bikes two miles to her grandfather's house and two miles back uh, to her house five times each month so two times two times five twenty okay uh, which one is different in all these, the unknown number is 2. But here, the unknown is, you can find, guys, later on. Okay, but here, the unknown is 4. Why? 5 times 2, 10. And 10 times 4 is 40. And here is the last question. How does the associative property of multiplication help you to calculate products mentally? Give an example. I can group factors in different ways to get the same product. I can choose the two factors that are easier to multiply to calculate first. Don't write this thing. Simple answer. I know, as an example, 4 times 2 times 5 is 40. Because 2 times 5 is 10. Like we create the group of 2 times 5 first. And 4 tens equals 40. Thank you so much, guys. And I hope you understand the lesson. If you really understand the lesson, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.